Uh, Basically, I'm fine. Thankfully, Tone and JJ and Chicken Andy and AK and Gucci's were all very vigilant. They all came to my needs very fast. Um, Chicken got the Narcan and I was all right. So I'm very thankful to be here. Very ashamed, honestly. Very disappointed in myself and then um, it's probably just best if I leave. Definitely, I appreciate him more than he understands, and it's nobody's fault but my own, obviously. Okay, you should be on, Chase. Hello, what's up, buddy? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing good. You're looking great in that Never Relax hat, bro. I like that hat a lot. Yeah, I had to put it on. My hair is all messed up. So. Where'd you get the hat at? Uh, Joggerwear.com. So joggerwear.com that's the place to go get the merch uh can the chat hear me uh chat you can hear him right it looks like it how many viewers are in there uh we've got we're at 354 and chat can hear you all right all right good to see everybody man hey uh first off man i just want to say thank you to patrick and thank you to everybody who has been reaching out to me uh, via Instagram, text, people reached out to my family. I know a lot of people wanted me to die, but there's a reason that I'm here. And I, I'm so thankful just to be able to wake up every day um, and know that I'm alive still. I mean, I'll tell you guys one thing, you know, I don't remember a lot from the overdose, and it was a scary thing. It took me a while to be able to actually watch it. But whenever I uh, finally was able to watch it and, like, face it, I mean, I'm a lucky mother. I mean, I literally saw, you know, thankfully JJ was there, but it was it was seconds, you know, seconds that could have made a difference, right? And uh, I, I'm going to go into a bunch of things about, you know, the people and how they reacted and everything. And I, I first off, though, I just want to say sorry. Honestly, guys, I'm sorry to do this to you. I'm sorry to do this to my friends, my family, my chat. You guys have been sticking through thin and thick. This whole time, you've been supporting me via Power Chat. You guys have been the best fucking friends that I could have ever asked for. And I'm so thankful, honestly, for the IP2 community and for just everybody just that, uh, you know, still fucks with me. Um, honestly, IP2, there was so many, like, actual positive comments. Like, you know, I hope he gets help. I hope he does the right thing. I don't want to see him die. This isn't even funny anymore. And it really isn't. You know, being a junkie is a loser way to go, you know? It's a loser-ass way to go. Being a fucking drug addict fucking bitch is just not the way, man. And I've realized that uh, in the last four days, honestly. Oh, hey, hold on one second. Yo, Patrick. Yeah. Hey, I got somebody here who uh, actually, and so I'm in rehab right now, chat. And I got this homie here, Scott. He's actually my roommate. Scott, say what's up. What up? So Scott is actually somebody that knows about IP2. You know, I'm in fucking Atlanta, Georgia, bro. How the fuck is my roommate somebody that knows about IP2, knows about Medicare? But real quick, just tell him about yourself. Uh, shit, I just why I watch No, I watch Medicare. Shit, I, I didn't even hear about this overdose thing, but... Your boy needs some donations, so you know if, if, if you guys uh, if, you, if you guys agree with me, fuck niggers, fuck kikes, fuck fuck them all, fuck big Alaska, fucking Nick Fuentes is a, a training dick sucker. If any of y'all agree with that, just just go ahead and give us some donations because your boy needs them. Hey, all right, and that's it. God bless you, Scott. God bless you, my friend. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hey, that's my roommate chat. If you do want to support, you know, I'm not asking for nothing. I'm here just to talk right now. But listen, powerchat.live slash LC. If you want to fucking send me money for a cigarette, they're, they're charging $10 a pack at the place that I'm at right now. Uh, Patrick, everything good on the, on your side, though? You everything is good at 300 or 636. Well, what are they, what, give, me, give me some chat comments before I keep going. Give me some chat comments. Uh, they're just glad to see you. Um, let's see. Um, oh.
Anonymous sent three dollars. What is your drug of choice, Patrick? I'm gonna keep going. It's okay. Do do it's okay for now. Do really need okay. okay, okay, I've got. There there's a dono. There there. Wait, I my drug of choice at, when I was using uh, was uh, fentanyl also and heroin, but that was six oh, years really? ago. That's what someone said. What was his name? Uh, that was anonymous. Anonymous, thank you so much for that donation, man. I appreciate that fucking three dollars. And listen, bro, fitting all the Wait. scary ass. Ouchie, yeah. I, I love you. I'm literally crying I'm literally right crying now. Right now. I'm so, uh, I'm so glad, glad that you are all right. right. God gave me us a gift that you are still thank on this God. earth. Thank you. Thank God, thank you, And God. thank God, thank you. Low frequency. Hey, amen. Amen. Fuck you, come out, too. Fuck you, come out. You already know the time is. Fuck you, Ray Dallas. Yo, thank you so much. Who was that from? Low frequency. Low frequency, I fucking love you, bro. Hey, God is real, low frequency. I'm a, I'm a lucky guy, man. This is my second overdose, you know. I'm going to go into it a little bit, but... Um, so, Chad, I went to treatment once, all right? I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. I went to treatment once. I never had overdosed at the time. Thank you guys for the donations, by the way. That means a lot. I can buy a pack of cigarettes now and a phone card, by the way, because it's 50 minutes for $10 here, and the packs of cigarettes are also $10, so it's absolutely sickening, but either way, so fentanyl, though, it's a fucking scary drug, man. I mean, it's a slippery slope, low frequency. It's, it's insane how fast I fell into that, into that fucking just being a junkie, going to get high every day, trying to find drugs in tone, and chat. Tone did not put a single drug in my body. I saw Glockway say that. I saw Zaya say that. Listen, I love both of them, but those motherfuckers are wrong. Anonymous okay. sent $15. Okay. Dollars okay. Of blood Wait. Lucky, wishing you the best. No. Love you, Chase. Heart. Uh, 15, uh, $15 from Anonymous. Uh, best of luck and love you. I love you, Anonymous. Thank you Jake so much. $15. Love you, bro. You're a fucking man. Ten dollars from Jake. Love you, bro. Right. Jake? Yeah, ten dollars. Love you, bro. Yo, Jake. Oh my God, I love you, Jake. It's so good to hear from you, bro. I love you. Hey, chat. Listen to me. I am. We're just gonna keep going. I am so lucky to be here. When I was out in the RV, okay, I told Chicken Andy before I came. Sorry. Let me go back. Before I came to the RV, I was in Florida, I was with Renee, I was sober, I was hanging out with Aaron, everything was good, peachy clean, okay? I, Chicken Andy invites me to the RV. He's like, yo, Alchi, I need you here right now. Come to this RV, turn it around. And I was like, David, I'm a junkie. I know Tony's doing sin. I know you're allowing that. And it's not David's fault. It's not Chicken Andy's fault at all. Chicken Andy runs a great show. He does a great job as a 22-year-old man running that RV making sure that shit gets done. He's carrying IP2 right now, and you guys don't even realize it, but whatever. Either way, it doesn't matter. So I told Chicken, I was like, dude, I know I'm going to get high. I know I'm going to do drugs, you know? And, and I knew it. I knew it. As soon as I'm around it, I'm powerless over drugs and alcohol, chat. I literally have no sense, nothing. There's no way that I, as, a, as who I am right now, with no discipline, can be around fentanyl, one of the most potent, strongest and cheapest drugs unregulated on this RV trip in Seattle, Washington, where fucking Antifa's fucking coming after us. I knew it was going to happen. It was bound to fucking happen. Aaron tried to tell me. My dad tried to tell me. Patrick, the chat, the chat tried to tell me. You motherfuckers burned it into my brain. Chase, you're going to die or you're going to go to jail. You need to cut this shit now. But, you know, I'm really starting to see who's a real viewer and who's a fucking loser, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of hate watchers out there. A lot of people want to see me fucking die. And that's the one, a reason why I'm here today, honestly, is to prove those motherfuckers wrong. Because I am a junkie, but I know that I can change that. I know that I can do the right thing and turn my life around, and I can even turn my channel around. You know, all these IP2 streams are also fucking negative, talking about drugs, talking about cheating on fucking wives, talking about groping and rape and all this bullshit. And Stop Speeding is the one who really has tried to make a change, honestly. Speedy has done so much for himself. And if I could get just an, in, an ounce of sober time that he has, I would be in a completely different world, in my opinion, honestly. Um, 
Patrick, how many years? Low frequency syndrome. I agree. Do you remember anything during your overdose? Did you uh, have an outer body Patrick. experience? Low frequency asked if you remember anything uh, during your overdose, and can you tell us about your experience? Absolutely. You donate that? Yeah, six dollars. Thank you so much, low frequency. Thank you for all your donations, bro. Thank you for everything. Listen, so chat, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it went. Okay, hundred percent honesty. All right. So, how many viewers, Patrick? Sorry. Four hundred and ten. Okay. Well, this is what happened. All right. I was on the RV. Tony had just lost his wallet with like fifteen cent pills. He had unfortunately gotten it confiscated by the police, right? So I'm in the fucking RV. We're all about to go to bed. Chicken Annie and Gucci's are in the back. Tony's asleep up top. Uh, JJ's on the bed on his phone. Thank God he was on his phone. You know, God just works in weird ways. You know, God just works in weird ways. If JJ wasn't awake, I'd be dead, Chad. I'd be fucking dead. It wouldn't even be a question. You know, I know he recharges. He doesn't sleep. But, JJ, I, I owe him my life. I really do. I owe him my life for, for looking over and checking on me. You know, I really do, Chad. And, and, and I'm sorry to JJ for doing that to him, and I'll get into all the people in a second. But, anyways, I went into the fucking bathroom. I loaded up the M30, hit that shit hard as fuck, and went up into the top bunk. And for some reason, again, this is the second time this has happened, I decided to climb down from the top bunk, and apparently I was acting real weird. I don't remember any of this, by the way. But since I hit the 30s, that was the last thing I remember. So I, for some reason, decided to climb down and, like, lay right next to Aaron, and that's probably what saved my life. But anyways, so I start obviously croaking, overdose happens, we all know, and the camera shuts off, right? When the camera shuts off, that's when I come to, right? You guys see him administering our cam. The camera shuts off. I come to, and I, first thing I start saying is I'm looking at my friends. I'm looking at every person in that fucking RV, and they're fucking frozen solid with their eyes as wide as can be. Absolutely one of the scariest feelings I've ever felt in my entire life, by far. And I started saying, no, chicken, no, no, no. What happened? What happened? No. And no one could say anything. No one could say, I walked to you. I just, I just couldn't believe it happened again, you know? And, and I'm just, I couldn't even believe it. I really couldn't. You know, when you're in addiction, you don't even believe that you could die because it just feels so good. But that shit is literally killing us. And I love Tony to death, but I want him to change, man. I don't want him to die. I don't want Tony to die. I fucking love Tony. Like, if he dies, bro, I think he's going to be a different place. Uh, it's going to be a real different place. When After Johnny Boston passed, you know, it was real sad. But, like, Tone, I feel like he's a big part of the community right now. Just, And I really appreciate him. But, you know, is there any more donations? Sorry. Uh, no. Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. Thank you. And then, uh, look, we need, like, a chat message. I want to hear one from the chat. I don't have a chat right now, so. Um, I don't know what Tone's meaning. It says, now nah, you miss a lot in between the cam shutting off and him coming back. Um, okay. So oh. when the cam shut off, I came back, like, I don't know, it must have been like another yeah. four or five minutes. Um, and they called 911. So Not I actually three came dollars. back Are you mad life that he literally sat there the whole time and didn't do anything even before, before the cops JJ got saw there, before the ambulance got he there. Care less, but they JJ did call 911. Tony angel. did perform CPR. But anyways, I ended up um, walking over to the, the paramedic to check me out, got my vitals, and I was like, bro, I don't need to go to the hospital. I need to go to fucking rehab. I need to go get help. And they were like, yeah. Don't do that shit again, man. And and so thankfully, you know, everything worked out with that. You know, they didn't take me to the hospital because I knew I was fine. But um, the paramedics ended up leaving, and then I'm just freezing. I mean, literally the coldest I've ever been. If anyone's ever overdosed in here, you know that when you get Narcan, you are freezing. Like, absolutely bone-chilling cold. So I had to go fucking center to, like, two blankets. I know this sounds horrible, but I ended up taking a dab just to, like, ease the nerves, which is super junky and absolutely loser, but neither here nor there. Um, so 
that's basically what I remember. If you guys have any more questions about it, I'm more than willing to answer. Um, Probably yeah. the best way is to just donate, unless you, have, you see a question in the chat, Patrick. Yeah, uh, but, there was uh, a donation, anonymous. Also, I'm going to go into... Anonymous donated $3. Are you mad at AK for not doing anything and just laying there, even though JJ was trying to do something? And do, are you glad JJ was your guarding angel? Yes, I'm so thankful that JJ is my guardian angel. You know, John Lake is a literal saint. He's here for a reason, and I'm glad that I am good to call him my friend. Um, AK, no, I'm not upset at anybody. And I'll go, I'll go into the people right now. Chad, this is all my fault, you know. I can't blame it on anyone. I can't blame it on Tom. This is a chase problem. This is a, an addiction. It's a sickness that I have, and I have no discipline over it, right? Everybody has sicknesses. I got ADHD. Some people learn how to control that, but I can't control my sickness. I mean, it's out of control bad, you know. And that's why I had to go get help. I had to. I was going to die. And I don't want to die, Chad. I really don't. I love life. I have everything, you know. I got a great fucking friend group. I got a great community of people that fucking love me to death. You motherfuckers, and I know a lot of you guys hate me, but you motherfuckers love me to death, and I cannot thank you enough. So many people reached out. I mean, it was just insane. But either way, I have so much to live for. I'm 24 years old. I don't need to fucking die over some dumbass drug that's just made to give you a temporary fucking feeling. I'm not going to let that shit control my life anymore. I don't know when the next time I'll be doing like an IRL stream is, but I really want to... I'll talk about this at the end. All right, real quick, let's go back. Thank you, Anonymous, for the $3, by the way. That means a lot to me. That's like a one-fourth of a fucking cigarette pack. Anyways, um, so going on with the people, JJ saved my life. AK didn't do anything. That's not because AK didn't want to do anything. It's because he was in shock. He didn't know what to do. He was frozen. That's his fucking boy dying, blue in the face, and he called it on his fucking birthday to make it even better. On his birthday, all right? And then there's some weird shit going on, Chad. Like, I, I, anyways, listen. So I have no heart hate toward Aaron. He called it. He knew what was going on. He knew what was going to happen. And he told me, you know, he told me. So I have no hate in my heart towards him. I love Aaron to death. Now, Tone, Chicken, and JJ were so proactive. And I'm going to get to Gucci right after this. But... Man, just bust an ass. As soon as they realized it was real, fucking Narcan, compression, JJ checked on me, chicken blew his pants on, and I know that David's been real sad, you know, about me doing that to him, and I, and I am really sorry, chicken. If you ever watch this or anything, I am really fucking sorry to do that to you. Like, there's nothing that I would ever want to, I would never want to put someone through that. You know, it's, it's hell. It really is. I shared the shit out of them. I know that. So all three of them, very proactive. I can't thank them enough. Now, Gucci, I watched her, like, um... Anonymous in $3. Audience. If you oh, don't want to die, stop sounding like a um, fool talking about IP2 and start worrying no, about your health. You know, because, so, her, I heard her say that her dad was a, an addict or something like that, and he had overdosed, and his, her mom punched her dad in the face to wake him up. So that's all she knew, you know? That's all that she knew how to do. So don't hate on you, Gs. She didn't want to hurt me. She wanted to wake me up. She didn't want to punch me in the face to fucking hurt me. Or, well, she didn't mean to blow smoke in my face. And she didn't, honestly. I watched the clip. She really didn't. But anyways, don't hate you, Gs. She is a fucking kind soul. She loves everybody. She is a little bit of an alcoholic, but you know what? We all have addictions. And I really hope that she can get the help that she needs. And and maybe one day she will. Maybe this will be the opening, the wake up call. You know, I uh, I really don't know if it is or not. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be her choice. Cause you can't do it for anybody else. You gotta do it for you. Uh, how many viewers, Patrick? Uh, water. Four hundred and seventy-eight. And anonymous sent three dollars oh, saying. Fuck. And anonymous sent three dollars saying, if you want, uh, if you don't want to die. Stop talking about IP2 and start worrying about your health. Yeah, wow. That's a, that's, that's a, that's a good donation, honestly. You know, chat, it's greed. What it comes down to is greed. I'm greedy. By going on that RV, I'm a greedy fuck. 
of the Jew, literally a Jew. I literally went there because I knew that I would make more money on that RV than I ever had made anywhere else at any other job. Chicken Annie knew it. I knew it. But is it worth your life? I mean, is it worth fucking dying, being exposed to all these drugs and dying when you're vulnerable for a fucking, you know, a quick paycheck? Is it worth it? No, it's not fucking worth it. And that's why I left. I left it because I wanted to get right. Because I want to be able to stream later in life. I want to be able to come back, do IRL, and be sober. At least I'll fucking spend all for sure on heroin. You know, I drink a twist of tea here and there. You know me, twist of tea is my thing. But opioids, Xanax, pills, all that shit's got to go. Because if I go down that road again, I will die. And IP2 enables it. They don't enable it. They don't enable it. Excuse me. The donators enable it. Right? The donators allow, especially in the case of Tone, they allow somebody who they know is going to go get high to have an unlimited supply of money whenever they need it. And, and it's not a bad thing because they're not trying to do it out of spite. Most of the time when someone donates, because they really want to talk to that person, they really appreciate them and they love them, you know? And that's why I think it's such a weird two-way street. They don't really realize it, but they're hurting them at the end of the day, you know? So it's just, it's a weird thing. Hey, Patrick, keep them busy. I got to go get some water. Okay. But thank you. And I want to say this. Thank you all so much for being yeah. here. Thank you for the donations. And please, can we get some hearts in the chat for Patrick and for every addict out there right now? For Tone, for, for Goo, for, for Chicken Andy. I heard there's an Adderall shortage, actually, over here in Atlanta. People can't get Adderall, so... Chicken, you better be careful, buddy. <laughs> I'm just joking. But uh, keep them busy. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram at Alchie Boone with the E V at the end. Please follow me. Please DM me. I'm not ending this. I'm just going to go with some water. Patrick, keep them busy. Thank you to 500 people in here. Give me one second. And let me answer a question that I keep seeing pop up, chat. Uh, right now, he cannot get Cash App. Uh, because he don't have access to his phone. So, but once he gets access to his phone, then he can uh, get Cash App. But right now, he don't have a phone. They're making him actually pay for phone calls. So, um, yeah, yeah, Patrick. Yeah. All right. What, what's going on? What are they saying? Uh, they were. I just answered the real a question. Shit. The real shit. I was just answering a question about Cash App and saying that you don't have access to it right now, but once you get your phone, you'll have access to it again. Yeah, so just real quick, I want to let everybody know. I'll be out on the 22nd of this detox. All right, chat? I'll be out of here on the 22nd, 5 a.m. I'll have access to my phone. If you want to send me Cash App, it's dollar sign out cheap You don't have to, but that would mean a lot to me. Thank you. I really appreciate whoever asked that. Um, it's dollar sign out cheap but I'll be out on 22nd. And then what the plan is for me is to go to a 30-day program. I don't know where the program is yet, but I know that I have to go to a 30-day program. And it sucks. I wish I would have gone straight into treatment, but I went into a detox first. So... You know, they're detoxing me off my subs. I'm trying to be strong with that. It's it's hard, dude. It's hard. That sub withdrawal, man, it's a it's a bitch in itself, you know? It's a bitch in itself. But um yeah, I I'm gonna go to a thirty day place after this. Um hopefully the chat, you know, understands and I hope you guys know that I don't wanna abandon y'all. I fucking love you guys, man. I, I fucking appreciate you guys more than you could ever understand. I think about the fucking homies there all the time. Every time I go live, bro, it's a drug in itself. It's like a high. So I want to go to a 30-day program, not to ditch to dis you guys or anything, but to get myself right, you know? I, I want to be able to be around for a while. I want to be able to be outside with it and meet Liddy and do Fortnite dances, you know? But only way I want to be able to fucking continue to do that is if I go get right and work the steps and get a sponsor and admit that I am powerless over drugs powerless so thank you guys for all the questions and concerns and everything i really appreciate it um and thank you for the donations as well but uh patrick what do you think about this just real quick what do you think about this whole situation 
Um, unfortunately, I was a. This was my worst fear, and I. I knew you going to the RV, you were going to relapse. I knew that one hundred percent. You even knew that, and I didn't know that it was going to turn into this bad of a situation, but um, I think everything happens for a reason, and maybe this was a reason. And, I mean, I've, I've OD'd, so I've been there. And now you have seen it and you don't want to repeat it. So this is a teaching moment. So yeah. Hey, thank you for sharing that, bro. I appreciate that. Sorry. I was just smoking real quick. Um, so real quick, I know that there's been a lot of blame, a lot of fucking people point fingers at each other, but again, it's all my fault. I'm sorry to do this to you guys. Sorry to do it to David. Sorry to do it to AK on his birthday. You know, I, I just, I cannot say sorry enough. But the only way that I'll really be able to make it up to them is to get right. You know, to have their friend back. That's the only way that I'm going to be able to make it up to them is to get right. Be the real person that I am. You know, back in 20 fucking 2020, when I was with Paul, you know, 2019, that was back when I was, you know, I got nothing but time here in rehab, right? I fucking watch YouTube. I was rewatching the prison stream, and you know that was the happiest I ever was. I was chasing my dream. I was sober, just smoking a little bit of weed. And if I could go back to that, if I could find that passion again, it would mean the world to me. It really would mean the fucking world to me. But um, ask, give me some questions or some comments from the chat. Um, they're they're actually taking him off of Suboxone. Uh. Because they're yes, asking I'm being about tapered that. off of Suboxone right now. Yeah. So I have a script for maintenance. But I feel $4 take your time out. Like a, like a, Just a know hole, we are here. You know? and we're I don't not want to be reliant on Suboxone my whole you. life. It hurt so my heart knowing you wouldn't down. be I'm here. Two it was such a relief knowing you lived. Take your time. Thank you, God. And then the next Thank day, you, God. before I get out, I'll be off of it. So they're tapering me down slowly. I don't, I'm scared. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm fucking terrified. I don't want to get off subs. I know how it is. The cravings, the anxiety, the fucking, the sickness. You just want to use, you know, and, and but I know that if I don't, that it won't be the right thing. You know, I won't be actually sober. Chat, my sober date is uh, October 14th, you know. Uh, it's Aaron's birthday, obviously. And I thought I was going to have overdose. But I am going to stick to that fucking date. For some reason, this time, that date means a lot to me. And I want that date to stay that fucking date, you know? But read me some more comments, sorry. Uh, low Frequency uh, donated $4. I missed the last part of it, but the first part of it was uh, take your time. And that he, I think it was also like he was, his heart was broke or something. I missed it, but... Hey, honestly, I, I heard a lot of people, man, like, you know, I heard a lot of people doing what I did, and it was so selfish. You know, I saw all the fucking messages and my parents okay. and just everybody Jake said $10, out I've been out like, of the loop for a while, really bro. But when us, I saw an F-game highlight clip of like you loading you guys, my heart say, you guys like that. I had no idea you know, this I'm is sure what you were going through, and I'm sorry for not buying a better friend and checking up on you, bro. Seriously, love you. Okay, Jake, Jake, hey. Jake just donated ten dollars, saying he was out of been out of the loop for a while, and he, when he saw the highlight clip, his heart sank. He didn't know this what was what he, you were going through, and that he's sorry yeah. that he wasn't there. Jake, thank you for that ten dollars, bro. I fucking love you so much, man. Thank you for coming back around, dude, and I, I fucking appreciate you, man. I hope you're doing well. Seriously, Jake, we gotta we gotta catch up soon, but thank you for that ten. And, um, yo, honestly, I've been going through this shit for a minute. I've been battling with addiction for a minute. But I just want to real quick, so I got my roommate, Scott. He's back right now. He's the one that hates him. He's, he's never relaxed all the way. But um, I just want to ask him what he thinks about it. 
So just tell me, what do you think about, you know, the RV? Because you, you've been, you've watched it before. What do you think about that environment for, as an addict going yeah, into I think they're just playing up. They're, they're taking advantage of people. Taking advantage of people? Well, they're taking advantage of Well, they, they know you got an addiction, so they put it in front of your face. They, they want to fucking, they want to see the fire burn, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's say, like, if you were to become a live streamer, how do you think it would play out for you being on the RV? I think I'd end up in the same situation as you, my man. Yeah, yeah, it's a scary situation, man. But look, if you want to say something to Mr. Mercury, he's in the chat right now. Oh, yeah? What's good, bro? Just keep going out of Ethan Ralph, bro. Fuck Ethan Ralph. He's a fucking rapist and a fucking fed. Weirdo. Hey, and, uh, yo, keep, keep, yo, keep popping some shit on an IP, too. Uh, small clips, though. Yeah. Okay, keep, keep it, keep it succinct, but... Hey, bro, you like the IP, too, shit. I, I like it in very small doses. <laughs> very small doses. Are you watching it then? Huh? Are you watching it then? Uh, yeah, I was, but now I want to get some ice cream. Oh, okay. So that, right. Don't make sure. Okay, good. Thank you. I ain't going to get too bad. I appreciate you, bro. You're the best. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's the, that's the homie right there, Chad. That's what, it's so weird. My roommate, how does he know about that shit? You know, it's just like the world works in weird ways, you know? But either way, he's a he's homie for sure. But... Thank you so much, Jake. I appreciate that. And yeah, I've been battling with addiction for a while. Um, it's a fucking scary thing. Hey, yo, yo, keep it up with the morning with the man child shit, dude. You can, uh, I hope you feel better. Send $50 dollars. Too, we love you, Alky. For real, we're praying Don't for you. Don't be hard bro. on yourself. We're praying for you all the time, man. Fuck you. cancer and fuck addiction. Facts. Um, but, uh, Patrick, yeah? yeah, uh, Goose sent $50. Don't be hard on yourself. 50? Yeah, 50. Don't be hard on yourself, bro. Don't be hard on yourself, bro? Yeah. That's all. 50 dollars? Yeah. Yeah. 50 dollars? Don't be hard on yourself, bro. We love you. I think it was. But oh 50. my god, dude. Thank you so much. I can't be real of the real Gucci, but yo, Anonymous, bro, thank you so much. That's the fucking, that's crazy, bro. You're nuts. Thank you so much. That means the world to me, man. Listen, I'm trying not to be hard on myself, bro, but it's hard to not beat yourself up, bro. I really fucked it up this time. You know, I could have had it all, bro. I could have been on that RV, having fun, going IRL, going outside with it, enjoying life, but... You know, that path would have let me down just straight to death. It would have led me straight to fucking death, you know? So I, I'm sorry to the people that, that, that I did this to, and I'm really trying to cope with the fact that I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to hurt all these people. I didn't mean to, to fuck all these people over and to ruin Aaron's birthday and to fucking scare all you guys. And 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 it's, it's hard to, to cope with that. I, I understand it now. I, I'm, I'm learning to understand that. I have an addiction, I have a problem with sickness, and, and I just, if I'm around it, bro, it's, it's over, game over, unless I'm working the steps, so thank you so much, Gucci, for the fucking 50, look at some fucking T7s in the fucking chat right now, we need to see, I, I mean, I can't even see the chat right now, but let's get some fucking T7s in that bitch, bro, like, that's some fucking legendary shit, dude, thank you so much for that, that's huge, seriously, that's fucking huge, and Jake, Low Frequency Anonymous, thank you all so much. Thank you guys. I fucking love you. I you don't know, understand how much it means to me that people are still caring and still still watching and stuff. But um, Patrick, do you have any other thing I need to go into? I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, aftercare. Uh, aftercare. All right. So this is where I kind of want to talk to you guys. How many years you got? Four hundred and sixty-three. All right. All right. All right. So look. This is where I kind of need you guys' help, and I just kind of need some recommendations, all right? So I don't know what I want to do. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now. Obviously, I was born here. I'm in a detox facility, right? It's a seven-day program. Um, I know I need to go to a 30-day place, but the thing that's really fucking with me is that I've already wasted seven days. And I'm, if I go to a treatment center, I'm going to have to detox again. So they're going to put me on detox again, which is just so lame, but you know what? I feel like that's a selfish way to look at it, you know? I feel like I should look at it like, damn, Chase, you have another chance at life. What's 30 days to another fucking 50 years, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys agree, but I'm really just trying to be as open as I can to um, just going somewhere, you know? Like, I'm just trying to go somewhere and, and, and get right and get and, and work the steps and get a sponsor. And, and once I get out, chat, 
I will be going to AA meetings. There's no question about it. NA, NA, whatever, it doesn't matter. I have to get a sponsor and I have to work the steps. And, and if I don't, I won't be sober. Like, it's just a trip. You know, I, I tried it once, didn't work. Now I've overdosed twice. So this time I got to get it. You feel me? And, you know, a lot of people in these places, chat, a lot of people, they have trauma. You know, they've been abused. They've been raped. They've been groped. They've been fucking, you know, just, and like with me, it's like, why? 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 Why am I a junkie? Like, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I hurting everyone around me for a temporary feeling of nothingness when I'm already so happy? I'm already content. I've got everything I want. Not a lot of money, but I got a fucking great community. I got a great girl. I got a great family. I got great fucking friends. Why? Is the question that I keep asking myself. Why am I doing this? to everyone and, this, and why am I doing it to myself and uh, once I figure that out and I think that might come with you know just kind of like surrendering you know just to God or higher power or whatever because I don't think I'm going to be able to figure it out on my own honestly I, I really don't I, I feel like I'm happy I feel like everything is right I feel like I've got everything I want but maybe I just don't I don't really know but either way um, I just I love you all so much. Like, thank you guys so much. Everybody that's in this chat room right now, this chat room is a safe chat room. And I hope that if anyone in here is going through addiction or, you know, they're smoking cigarettes or they have any type of problem, please think about seeking some type of fucking help. I know the heroin addicts have a bad stigma. They're the worst. They're the junkies. They're the losers. They fucking die all the time. But you can be addicted to anything, bro. You can be addicted to live streaming. You can be addicted to chatting. You can be addicted to donating, you know, to shopping, to addic to fucking sex. So just think, man. Just think long and hard about yourself because that's what I've been doing, trying to evaluate myself and try to figure this shit out because I got to, like, tap into my fucking inner self, you know. Uh, if I don't, I'm just not going to understand it. But anyway, so the aftercare, I know I've been talking a lot, and I'm sorry, but the aftercare, I want to go to a 30-day place. I don't know where. So, chat, what state should I go to for, for aftercare? Should I go to Florida? Should I be in Texas by my family? Should I stay in Georgia? Should I go to Los Angeles? Like, where? Chat, give me some fucking ideas, please, if you, if you have any ideas. Patrick will read them out to me yeah. uh, in the chat. That would be awesome. Oh, by the way, that $50 hey, was from Gucci's. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Holy shit, you, I fucking love you. That is so nice of her, bro. That is so fucking nice of her. Dude, you're the fucking best. She's modded in my channel, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, they're saying... Okay, so they're saying... Chat. Texas, uh, not Florida, Texas, uh, Texas, I'm seeing a lot of Texas, um, okay. I'm seeing a lot of family, okay. I'm, I'm not seeing, yeah. a, I'm not seeing Georgia hardly any, um, okay, okay, for sure. Okay, okay, for sure. Thank you guys for that input. And you, thank you so much. I love you to death, and I, I'm sorry to do that to you, seriously. I am, and thank you for that, too. That means the world to me. But, um, so, yeah, Texas is probably the best bet then, honestly. I think what I'm going to do is fly back on the 22nd and then see my family and go straight into a 30-day program, you know? It's just, like, straight into it, um... And I just want to see my, my brother and my fucking dog and my mom and my dad and all my sisters and just like, you know, just say I'm sorry. Honestly, is what I want to do is just apologize and be like, I, I'm just, which I know that I just keep saying and I just can't get out of my head how sorry I am. But it'll come in time, you know. I'm really trying to make a change, not for them, but for myself. Because you can't do it for anybody else. Patrick, we might get disconnected, by the way. This phone card that I had, uh, it had like 40 minutes on it, and it's already been 39, so if that does happen, okay. I'll give you a call back on another one. I'll get oh. it out of the vending machine. Okay, but, not a problem. Um, thank you, I really appreciate that. So, um, Patrick, what do you think? What do you think I should go after I get out of here on the 22nd? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. 
I'm going to look up that program that you told me about. And Mango Fresh, uh, if you're still in chat, you mentioned Boston. Uh, can you DM me the, if you know the, the program you're talking about? Um, Mango Fresh is a smart guy. He knows yeah. About. So Patrick uh, smart. underscore mod on IG. So can you DM me yes. that info, yes. please? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so, all right, Pastor, give me some, what else am I missing? I think, am I missing anything else? Um, it, I feel like it, but I can't think of it. Uh, I think it, I think it was the chicken and anything. That's what it was. So, yeah. I think a lot of people are putting the blame on Tone and Chicken Andy. Um, like, you know, oh, you this was a junkie, you enabled him, you allowed him to come on your RV. Nah, Chicken didn't allow any of that. He didn't allow it, he didn't like it, he didn't want it, he didn't fucking fuck with it, he never tried it. Chicken had my back, bro, but I hit it because I'm a fucking junkie addict. I hit it from him, and I acted like I was fine. And and they knew, they knew, they know what time it is. They're not fucking brain dead. They knew I was high as fuck. I would go in that bathroom fucking any time of the fucking day. You know what I'm saying? So they knew, but it's not their fault. It's my fault. You know, it's all my fucking fault. Tone never gave me a drug. Tone literally would try to help me with my withdrawals. He'd be there for me. If I was withdrawing. I mean, I was only on it for like a week. But think about how fucking fast and spiral out of control. Over uh, just a week, you know, I was only on it for a fucking week, and I fucking overdosed that fast, and that's how fucking fast that you can you can just die and just drop dead and die. And I don't want to see anybody in this fucking chat room die. You guys are all good people, even the hate watchers. You have good souls. You have families. You have people that love you. And if you don't have someone that love you, I fucking love you. I love every single one of you motherfuckers in this chat room right now. The fact that you're spending your night worried and concerned and, and, and listening to me, that means the world to me. And, and no one, you guys will never be able to understand how thankful I am and how grateful I am to have the support system that I have. Like, you guys are the fucking best. And uh, I love you all to death. And Patrick, thank you, bro. Thank you for everything yeah. you've done. Uh, like, Mama B. Yeah, Mama B, uh, DM me, uh, Patrick underscore mod, if you've got any suggestions, because she wanted to know how... To, yeah, uh, I'm open to suggestions. You yeah. know, when I first got in here, I was trying to act like, oh, I don't need rehab, I don't need to go to a 30-day program, you know? I'm going to go in there and meet junk Well, frequency sent $4, Alki. If you ever feel the need to do drugs, watch the video of you near death. When I'm, when and I'm envision the places, pain in everyone's I, I, heart that I, loves you. I know I'm addiction is hard, but I, you I must be strong. Them, just Find another heart. Maybe streaming this is owner, you know, the new dude. You're scared. You're fucking discontent. You're fucking sick. You don't want to be here. And, like, sometimes just that warm, like, yo, what's your name, bro? Good to have you here. That's enough to be able to push you through that first day. And, and I fucking really have found... Uh, like an appreciation for just trying to be as friendly and as nice to all these people as possible because they're just like me. They're all addicts. It doesn't matter if they're alcoholics, crackheads, age addicts. I mean, they're all, we're all the same. You know, we all but, have the same addiction and we all have the same disease. Low frequency sent $4 saying, if you ever want to do drugs, just watch your o overdose video and think of how you uh, hurt so many people and maybe you uh need to find a different hobby maybe streaming is a trigger yeah yeah see i i understand that low frequency i do i really get that a lot and i appreciate you mentioning that um i it took me a while to even watch it but i've, I've desensitized myself now you know i have to understand it i sat there for an hour and played it back and back and all night, all night last night, I didn't get a lick of sleep. So I literally just went to bed for like four hours. I didn't sleep once last night, though. I was just sitting in that YouTube room, because we have like a room that has like YouTube on TV. And I was just fucking watching it over and over and over, trying to just burn it into my brain. So that's a great idea. idea. Well, for, that's a fucking great idea, and thank you for that. Um, now, streaming being a trigger, 
Yeah, fucking anything can trigger, though, in my opinion, you know? It's about the discipline. If I can't go live stream like I used to back in 2020, back when I was in L.A. with Paul, and, and I, can, I can't be sober, then I can't do anything. I'm going to die, you know? I want to fucking be dead faster than you know it because I have to figure out a way to deal with this addiction, to, to push it back and suppress it so that I can do the things that I love. Because it doesn't matter if you're sober or you're in active addiction. That drug is ruining, or drug and drink is ruining your life and it's controlling your life, right? What you have to do is find discipline. Because if you're completely sober and you have no discipline, you're still letting that drug control your life. But if you're still in active addiction, it's still controlling your life. You understand what I'm saying, chat? Hopefully. Um, so if I can find a way to discipline myself, to be okay with finding foil on the Okay, chat, we just lost him. Uh, he should be calling back in a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to keep this going. Uh, Mama B, uh, the best way to get money to him right now is, um, I guess, Power Chat. Um, or you can do Cash App and he'll have access to it uh, on Saturday morning because uh, he gets out at 5 a.m. Saturday morning from Detox and he'll have access to his phone then. Um, but let me just say that he has been really taking this serious. Um, and as you've heard over the last 44 minutes, uh, he... I don't think he's bullshitting. Um, he knows what needs to be done and he really wants help. And we've talked every day since, uh, sat well, we, yeah, we've talked, we've talked every day since this happened. Uh, and like I said, if, uh, no, he does not have access to his Instagram right now, Mama B. Uh, he does not have a phone at all. He's using their phone. He has five minutes on it and everything else. Uh, that's why I've been giving out my IG. Uh, so if anybody has any suggestions or anything or whatever, like I said, I can pass them on because, like I said, we talk every day because um, I've been relaying messages to other people for him and stuff like that. Um, no, I'm not Alchie. I'm Patrick, and I'm trying to run this because he can't do anything. So without me, he wouldn't be able to talk to you guys. So that's why I got all this running. That's why he, uh, he was live around 4.30 today for like 12 seconds because, unfortunately, I went live without knowing it um, just to get everything running. And like I said, we're just... He said he was going to get another phone card, so I'm just letting this go for a little bit to see if he calls back. Because he, like I said, he told me he was going to probably get disconnected. And User sports update in basketball uh, yesterday. Alexa, shut up. Okay, Alexa wanted to uh, chime in with sports, I guess. I'm not replacing him at all. Um, and Bob, you're not banned. You're never banned. Joker, he's trying to get another phone card so he can call back. Like he got disconnected because his phone card ran out. Actually, I need to ask him that question uh, if he has gained some weight. I imagine he has. No, he has not changed in three days, but he's on the road. Like I said, it's going to be a long, it's a long, it's going to be a lifetime thing. Um, and he knows that. We inside with it. Um, my channel, I, I think it's just Patrick, but it's not active. Anybody got questions about what Chase had to say? So that when he comes back, I can ask him or... Okay, how I'm connected to Chase is we're really good friends, and I help him out with a bunch of uh, stuff. And like I said, I'm, I got access to his uh, YouTube, so I was able to set this up and all that. Joker, if I knew, he would be here. Like I said, I'm just giving it a little bit because he told me he was going to go get another card and call back. But um, if he doesn't call back here in a little bit, I'm going to just end it. No, what it is is he has to buy phone cards, and they only have so much... Uh, money or they only have so much time on them so he had to um uh he has to buy phone cards order to call and you only get so many minutes on the phone card and his phone card ran out he knew the time was running out on it and um it the phone just cut off so he was going to have to go to the vending machine and go get another one but he was also running low on funds so but i told him if he needed me to uh sell him some money i would have but i don't know what's going on so no, nobody needs to donate. I mean, it's everything's appreciated. I'm just telling you what is going on. Correct. He has no phone. He has a they have facility phones there that he has to use and use phone cards. Uh, Mama B, uh, I've asked the same question. He says he's. I don't know. 
all I know is we'll know more. Uh, he gets out at 5 a.m. Saturday. It's his release uh, time. And then he'll have access to his cell phone and all that again, and Cash App and Instagram and all that. I'm live on his channel because I'm waiting to see if he calls back, which it doesn't look like he's going to be calling back. So I'm about ready to end this uh, here in a little bit. No, I'm not trying to slide in DMs. I'm just trying to help out in any way I can. The seven days is only a detox program. The facility he's at right now is only for to detox him. And then he goes uh, to another program somewhere. Remember, chat, Chase loves you. I love you. But there's some things we just can't talk about. So I... Okay, Mama D. Um... I'm not going to be doing fire cells. Chase is currently in rehab. He was on the phone and then we got disconnected and we're trying to reconnect. <sighs> okay, chat, I'm going to be on here uh, for about another minute and that will be it. Because it's 229 right now, so. So has anybody got any last Zulp, I don't know what you're talking about, what clip, but all the it's been, if you're talking about the clip, I think you're talking about, um, it's everywhere, unfortunately. But anybody that watches it, it's, it's hard to watch. I will say that it's hard to watch. I will tell you that I was up until around almost 5 a.m. that morning and I then fell asleep and, um, didn't wake up till about 11. And that's when I realized all shit had broke loose. Okay, well... That is all we wrote. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here. We had a great stream. You got to uh, the update from uh, Alchi about what happened and how he's feeling and his plans going further and everything. And we'll keep you in update, up to date here and there. Um, so I hope everybody has a good night. And just remember, uh, stay safe. Don't do drugs. I know it's a cliche, but they... Uh, it's, it's bad. So thank you.